Hello, and welcome back to Epic Mickey, where we're about to go into Mickey's house. Hello, telephone. Uh, yes way. He's, you're my telephone. I'll just tell him not to. On second thought, maybe I should let him dismantle you. You locked him in a safe? You were the one- Yeah, he said that- I didn't think about that. You are mean. Ah, manipulation. Gremlins have wrenches? <laughs> so, the fact that they use A for yes and B for no, I believe the first time I played this, I was just kind of button mashing to get through it, and I accidentally hit A, and I said yes, and he went in, and he got the wrench, and what happens is, uh, he goes in, and I don't remember exactly what you hear or if you hear anything, but when you go back in, the phone is gone and all that's there is a gear. Which you can then grab. The same kind of gear, I believe, that we got from Pete and Horace. Yeah. No, you can't. Does he say anything now? Oh, he gives, gives you the option again. I'm just being very, very careful not to tell him that he can. Okay. No, I didn't mean to talk. Hmm. No! <laughs> I want to jump. Move away from my jumping area. Okay, where's the thing I hadn't painted? There we go. Now... Gus actually says something when you pin... Oh yeah! <laughs> I only did this a minute ago and yet I already had forgotten about it. Man, that, that is a glitchy spot. Alright, I'd, I'd probably keep, keep playing with it if it was uh, not a let's play, but it is, so I should try and do something a bit more entertaining to watch. Okay. Paint in some of this. Paint in some of that. Paint in a little more. And then... Find this cave, which is hiding a phone box. Paint that back in. I don't think there are any more caves. Well, I can think of one. Oh, hello. Alright. And I believe the last one is... Well, sorry. Jeez. Oh, power boxes, not phone boxes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. I just 
thinned out your prized garden, the thing that you said was the only thing that makes you happy these days. No big deal. Talk about, you know, taking offense. Man, the camera really freaks out in situations like that. Anyway, let's talk with Clarabelle, because I believe there's a side quest with her right now. Exploring, and then perhaps I'll go grab that ice cream. Okay, can't go in there. I don't remember when we'll be able to. Okay, can't go in there either. Well, on second thought... Eh, let's go in here. Hey, give me the wrench. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and remember that. Okay, game. Enough with spamming the notifications, please. Here you go, Prescott. Uh, Prescott, do not uh, break my phone, please. Okay, what will he smack with a wrench this time? Um. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, of course. Of course it works. I'm half convinced the only thing that makes gremlins special and able to do all this repair stuff is that they can... <coughs> sorry. They can uh, teleport immediately. Alright, well... Let's see. I would do a jump cut back to Mean Street, but the projector screen here is actually a little different when you go through it the opposite in the opposite direction. So I think I'll show it this time. Uh, I don't think Mickey was supposed to be hovering over the chimney there. Whoops. Adventures in the collision detection. Now, there's stuff coming here. So we can get over here. Don't touch the pointy things. And now we can actually do something with these. And I think this is probably where you were meant to get the film reel. Because there aren't multiple things. Maybe you were supposed to climb them like a staircase. I don't know. Anyway. So that's it really until I get the ice cream, so quick jump cut here to the ice cream shop. See you in a second. Alright, here we are at the ice cream shop. Do you have some ice cream, Polly? Why indeed you do. Alright. And now, another quick jump cut back to Oztown. See you in a moment. And welcome back to Oztown. Here's your ice cream, ma'am.
So I need to remember to come back. Sorry, I need to remember to come back after Mickey Junk Mountain. So yeah, um You can choose not to get the ice cream or to not help uh hot so You can choose um not to get the ice cream or not to come back uh and pick it up properly and I think and uh the result is she gets she bakes Horace another pie and things are kind of sad Basically, uh, the whole thing between her and Horace is like a, a little side quest, I believe. Which I actually did, uh, I kind of failed in. Thank you, Gus, you already said that. Um, but it's a little side quest I kind of failed at in my first run of this game. I've never really seen what happens if you succeed, so I'm looking forward to that. Onward to Mickey Junk Mountain! Which is a really cool place, too. This game has really neat locales. I didn't pay attention to, um... This has cool music. I didn't pay attention to what the cartoon was, though. Oh, and in case you're wondering about the health, I, uh... kind of stupidly took... two damage while I was going back and forth. Or, I think, coming back from Oztown to Main Street. Oh, this. Gotta be quick here. Get up on the high path and run for it. Because they will... Oh! No! Whew. But how am I supposed to get up here if I wasn't quick? I'm not even sure. Also, I think the, uh, kids should not be allowed to have a steamroller. That's a little, uh, a little scary. That was quite a bit of damage they just did. But then again, you know, this is Mickey who goes around cavalierly destroying public property anyway, so... Gee, really? I mean, why on earth would somebody who doesn't want visitors move to a place that kind of looks like Mount Doom. Uh, I share Gus's sentiment. Uh. Yeah, bunny children will gather around you and then try and scoot you off to a pool of thinner. <laughs> Uh, I believe that's the case anyway, and yeah, they will, um, swallow spatters whole. So yeah, Mickey Junk Mountain. Welcome. Basically, this is a mountain made entirely out of junk that is Mickey Mouse themed. Merchandise and various paraphernalia. So... Go... Oh, wait, oh, I didn't mean... I did not mean to hit him into thinner. Oops. Okay, well that one was kind of intentional. I wanted to see what would happen, if I'm going to be completely honest here. No! Get away! Get away! Again, how did Oswald get up there? I think that actually is revealed later. Well, I can understand that sentiment. Painting some TVs. Can do. Though how he immediately knows that I'm able to paint and thin things is a little beyond me. Now here's a nice thing about TVs. Oh. No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop! Get away! Stop! 
<sighs> yeah, I see, uh, see the really fat one? He just ate a spatter. <laughs> and the spatter just kept showing up in his path. But the thing about, um, bunny children and spatters is that they really love televisions. There you go. Oh, I didn't remember this music. This is quite good. So yeah, it just plays a little clip of Steamboat Willie, but they all are just captivated. This is good music. Oh yeah, this thing. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Eh, you know what? Let's, uh, ow, 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 ow. Let's, uh, do the thing. Sure thing. Hey! NES cartridges! I never noticed that! How incredibly cool. What for? Mickey Mouse Capade. Ooh, Super Nintendo cartridge. Not entirely sure what game it's for, though. How incredibly cool. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Good. Don't have to fight him. They saw the television. Let's see if I can get it to distract him again. No, I'm aiming at this. Huh, I guess painted spatters aren't so interested in TVs. Oh no. Where is the bunny kid? No! Get away, you little brat! Oh! Oh. Well, that's morbid. <laughs> he just, um... ate a spatter. What happens if you paint them? Oh. They just roll up in a little ball and, um... defy the laws of physics. And gravity and whatnot. No, nope, painted spatters do like TV. Okay, that's just kind of creepy looking. Okay, then. That was all we needed over here. I kind of wonder about this. Okay, so clearly there's supposed to be some way to shut off that flow of thinner. I don't think I ever figured out how to do it. So, you know, I am extremely curious. Well, that hand out. And yeah, the time slows down thing is pretty cool. Though I'm really not sure, again, what it's supposed to be for. Mickey stuff. Is there a TV around here? Yeah, so that music that I didn't remember, that's the battle music for here. Fantasia! Aha! Well, that doesn't sound ominous. Well, 
Well, we could move on, but there's some more stuff to explore. My cartoon's on! Ah! Whoa! No! I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Well, take this in. Can't stay on any of these too long or else they'll sink into the uh, thinner. Grab the treasure, then the gremlin. Priorities, you know. Gremlin Kip. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess there are probably more gremlins hiding somewhere. And if I could find them, they'll probably fix some stuff for me. Or break it, as the case may be. Fix it for me, break it for uh, its intended use. I hope there wasn't anything in that. There's something behind here? Hmm. Surprisingly little. I would have thought there'd be a lot more hidden back here. What is this? Mickey Mouse has a busy day. A picture storybook. Okay, well, that makes sense. Okay. And if we land on this? Spin it. The thinner stops. Oh, no, no. Okay. Come on, before the thinner starts again. Extra content unlocked. Bunny children. And there's the thinner again. So that's pretty quick. Hmm. So how to stop that? I can hear one of the televisions. Well, that's a bit too far for a uh, jump. Bit, bit too far for me to be comfortable. So let's explore some more. The music here is nice. It's very, uh, it's very interesting, really. Kind of minimalistic, but this is not bad. Yeah, the game, I think, treats bunny children as enemies. As well as should be. Okay. Does the gremlin show up if I come over here? By any chance? Hmm... Can you climb up this thing? Well, I'm kind of surprised you can stand there. Come on. See, this is the kind of crazy, ridiculous stuff that I'd spent so long trying to do as a child. Uh... I'm honestly not sure what just happened there. That was weird. For a moment I thought Mickey had gone through the ground or something. Um...
Well, I think I'm going to end it here and possibly look up uh, how to do that because I honestly am not sure. I mean, I'll try one more thing. What happens if you talk to this guy? I doubt it's going to actually do what I want, but... Yeah. Okay, well, I will see you next time as we continue to explore and climb Mickey Junk Mountain. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.